There are changes occurring in downtown Winona, and Winona Main Street coordinator David Bittner sees bigger things for the downtown on the horizon. Bittner has been leading the program for nearly a year now. He says his primary goal is to create a downtown where people really want to be. We're doing that through um, our floor point approach, um, which is through events, um, through awareness, um, improving kind of the look and the feel of the downtown, as well as uh, working with the businesses to um, just, you know, just see what their concerns are, what's going on with them, um, you know, how can we be of assistance. Um, and so that's really what we're focused on. The first step towards reaching that goal included rebeautification projects that have helped spruce up the downtown area. One of those projects was cleaning up the Main Street median. That was one of those things that was um, done in preparation for Main Street. Um, you know, just trying to spruce it up a little bit. And um, we are, uh, ever since Main Street's taken over, that we've been discussing that project. Um, how can we make it um, more sustainable? Because, uh, um, I mean, there's, there's a few plants that haven't made it over the years. Um, and so we're, we're looking at uh, ways that we can make, you know, make it so that the plants can survive and uh, look nice in that location. Now on our uh, third and center street uh, project where we kind of overtook the, the parking lot there and um, redid the plants and everything like that. When we started, there was one weed in there and I think it was a dandelion. <laughs> um, and just a bunch of dried, faded wood chips. Um, but with uh, a partnership that we've, we've uh, fostered with uh, Home Federal Bank, um, we've been able to keep those plants alive, as well as the city of Winona for that matter, because uh, they've, they've done a great job of um, you know, checking on the plants and weeding when they can. For the last two years, the Main Street program, in conjunction with the Winona Area Chamber of Commerce, has sponsored a Christmas decorating contest for downtown businesses. The idea is to create a more festive shopping environment. Bittner says the contest is gaining momentum and participation. The Chamber of Commerce um, initiated it and started with 15 businesses. And I, I believe there was a few others that um, decorated but didn't register as a participating business. Um, and they had, if I remember correctly, about 1,500 votes come in. And uh, so they, they saw this as a huge opportunity, launched it again the following year had 26 businesses register and probably, you know, multiple others that uh, decorated but didn't register and had about 3,000 votes come in. Now this year, uh, Main Street took it over. We did our uh, Not So Black Friday, which um, has been, uh, we've heard great things about it. Um, so we're definitely uh, planning on looking at that again, um, how we can make it better and bigger. Um, but it was also the kickoff for our decorating contest, and we had uh, we registered 45 businesses, and uh, the votes are um, coming in, and so we're really excited to see, you know, where our votes are at the end of this, um, at the end of the decorating contest, um, as well as uh, what our judges pick. Bender says events held this past year, including the Sweet Stroll Downtown, Not So Black Friday, and the recently held Progressive Dinner, will all return again in 2014, along with some new ones. Our progressive dinner fundraiser was a huge success um, in terms of uh, how well uh, the uh, the community responded to um, attending and all that fun stuff. We're still working on uh, finding out how much we actually raised, which uh, I think we hit our goal, which is awesome. Um, and uh, I th think we want to uh, add a couple more events. We haven't uh, finalized anything yet, but we're we're working with the city. Um, we're working with various. Um, uh, other sponsors and uh, uh, interested parties about um, expanding some of our um, fundraising as well as events downtown. Now I asked Bittner what challenges the downtown fire in September has brought. He said he was encouraged that the businesses affected, Brosnahan Law Offices, Soul Sport and Blooming Grounds all chose to stay in the downtown area. The Brosnahan Offices and Soul Sport both have reopened for business. Bittner said Blooming Grounds has planning to reopen as well. Now as for the open spaces created by the Blaze, he believes that they will only generate more opportunities and possibilities for the downtown.